So it's all nice and ready, nice and hot. It smells all lemony and good. We are going to strain it. One strainer, one jug, some cream. See all that? You don't want your guests chewing that. Not at all. So, we've got this wonderful, wonderful contra contraption. It's called the hand mixer. I'm going to put it on low, because otherwise all my custard is going to go all over the kitchen, which is fun to watch, but not that fun to clean up. I'm considering a bigger bowl, in fact. Let me get a bigger bowl. a little bit more of a whisk and I'm going to keep the whisk on and add the cream slowly uh, you'll see what happens hopefully it won't scramble I know it's not going to scramble because I've done it before Now, you have to wait um, for the bubbles to pop. You can, if you're a naughty, take a blowtorch and just skim the top and it goes and all the bubbles disperse, it's great. Um, so, the key to making these creme brulees not burn in the oven is having a, it's called bain-marie, which is basically a water bath. Um, so I have a tray, and you see my little ramekins in the tray. I'm going to pour water in here, and then it's going to heat the water and disperse the heat. So instead of the custard getting done underneath and burning, it's going to, the water is going to disperse the heat, so the whole thing cooks instead of just from under the bottom. Okay, and it's particularly important in my oven because it sucks so bad. Now, it's still bubbly, I'm naughty, what can I say? Um, so you're going to wait, see I've got a little bit more, and fill them up a bit, and put some water in this now. Are you going to be on video? No. No. I'm going to take that and make up some punch. Okay, I'm going to eat. Be done with it in a second. I'm just filling this with water so we can see we have a water bath. OK. 
Okay, one water bath. And now, all we need to do is put it into the oven. My little easy bake. Put it on the little shelf. Um, now, mine takes about two and a half hours because my oven sucks. Um, but it probably take about 45 minutes. Check it every 15. This is my captain, my love. Look, this Harvey. Creme brulee time. Okay, so um, they're ready to take out the oven. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so these babies are ready. The thing about creme brulee is you've got to, if you overcook them, they crack or bubble on the top. Um, but when you take them out of the oven, they're not quite set, so you still want to be careful with them. But the way you tell they're done is they've got to have a good wobble on them, not like a swishy, sloshy water. They've got to have kind of like a, not quite gelatine wobble, but almost. So, mm, wobble these babies. <laughs> it's a good job, I think I'm funny. No one else does. But they're very, very hot. So, you see that wobble? See the wobble that one's got? Not quite set, but a good wobble. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take them out of here, I'm going to put them in my fridge, and let them set. Um, and then, later on, I'm going to use the blowtorch on them. <laughs> 